This is uh, thoughts and opinions on Pokemon uh, from a 11 year old. Sup? Games in the Pokemon series have you played? Um, so I played uh, Pokemon Red on the Game Boy Color. Uh, the original. The original. You played the original yeah. cartridge on an original Game Boy Color all the way through. Yep. Beat the game, boys. Um, I I also played Pokemon Black on the DS, and I sort of went got like a little bit through Pokemon Sword, Mm -hmm. but I prefer the older ones, the older games. What is your favorite Pokemon game? I guess you've only played through one of them. Pokemon Red. Pokemon Red. Okay. (laughs) No, I mean I played through Pokemon Black, but I still prefer Pokemon Red. Oh, you beat the game. Yeah, I beat the game. She beat the game. Okay. I didn't realize you heard it here, folks. <laughs> what? Um, all right. So you said Pokemon Red was your favorite. Why is Pokemon Red your favorite? Because it's awesome. Because it is awesome. What makes it awesome? Um. So it's really original. There's a lot less of. So in the newer games, they have it like you can see the Pokemon in the tall grass, which is like that destroys the entire point of the 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 mystery, the the tension of going in the tall grass. That just ruins the entire point. Also, the oh, graphics so like the, in the new thing. You like the random battles? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Even though sometimes five Zubats in a minute in a cave is so annoying. And what about the graphics? <laughs> the graphics in the newer games, they're they're so they're so. <laughs> graphics don't do it for you. You prefer the graphics in the older games. Yeah, even though the older games there are some sprites are that are bad, they're they're still better than the newer ones, which I think are too, quote unquote, realistic. Like I just don't like it. I think I know what you mean. So I've often found that, but a lot of the reason I prefer older games or games with simpler graphics is because it allows my imagination to picture things better than they could appear in the game. When a game starts trying to be closer and closer, get closer and closer to realism, they show more and more on the screen, but then there's more and more they don't show. Like, sure, I see, sure, in a modern Pokemon game, I see a, a, a something that looks like a living, breathing Pokemon on the screen, but he's also, like, he's not, he's not really moving like a real creature. He's just kind of doing a little animation. He's does, doing, like, a bounce back and forth. Does a, you know, Squirtle used headbutt, and then he, like, kind of jiggles his body a little bit. <laughs> And it goes pow. And he did a headbutt. Okay. <laughs> just like, just like takes the sprite, just moves it forward to five feet, moves it back five feet. All right. What's your favorite starter Pokemon? Can we just take a moment to appreciate Oshawott? Well, I, I, it's so cute. I think I always confuse Oshawott with Piplup. Okay. Piplup is the is the penguin. Oshawott is the cute little guy with the shell on his tummy. Remember that? Oh, I thought he was a dolphin. Okay. Oh my god. They're all the same. There is no dolphin Pokemon. No, I think they said that they're not going to do dolphins. They'll have a pile of trash and an ice cream cone, but dolphins? Dolphins are right out. What Pokemon did you use the most? I think I might have used Gyarados the most in my first game. Oh, man. Every time I play through Pokemon Red, I always get that stupid fish. Uh, Magikarp. Magikarp. And I always work so hard to train him up because once you get, once you get Gyarados, it's 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 so hard to train him up and evolve him. But once you do, it's so worth it. It yeah. just overpowers everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, I would enter a battle. I would just be like, Dragon Breath, Dragon Breath, Dragon Breath, Dragon Breath. <laughs> like, <laughs> go. Most memorable scene from a Pokemon game, a most memorable event, or a most memorable like quest. Yeah, so here's the thing. Pokemon was like a big thing for me back then because it was like one of the only video games I oh, was back when into. You were little? Yeah, okay. back in the olden days. <laughs> so yeah, um, are team. you implying that I'm still little? <laughs> Let's focus on the question. <laughs> <sighs> Annoying. Um, so it was like it was a big thing for me, and I was. I was playing through the game and I was at I was at the the Elite Four, like big deal, like the end of the game. And I eventually got past the Elite Four this one day, this one evening. Um 
and then I, that same evening, I beat the Pokemon Master, and I don't know, it just felt like really, really big achievement for me. Like, oh, so beating the Elite Four yeah, and Pokemon Red. Being beating the game, beating wow. the game in Pokemon Red. Congratulations on becoming a Pokemon Master. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a review of review of Pokemon from a nine year old. Hi. 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 All right, what uh, tell us what Pokemon games have you played? <laughs> Might be easier to say what Pokemon games you haven't played. Uh, tell us what you um, have played. Uh, I did Pokemon Red, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon. Ruby, Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Platinum, Pokemon Heart Gold, Pokemon um, White 2, I mean Pokemon White and Pokemon Black 2, I think, Pokemon X, Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Ultra Moon, Pokemon Eevee, Pokemon Sword, and that's it. Holy that's moly! Eleven. I, I just start counting. I lost. I just start counting on my toes. Oh wait, no. Wait, it is more. um one more. Uh, I always forget. Alpha Sapphire. That's twelve. <laughs> twelve games that I've loaded up at least once. Cool. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite Pokemon game? Ooh, it's probably Pokemon. That's what I was going to say. This is the one you've played it more than one time, right? Yes. I have beat the Elite Four and the Champion at least ten times without resetting the game. So oh, right, right. what I'm trying to do is just get all my Pokemon, my entire team of six um, Pokemon to level 100. All of them. I used to do that too in Pokemon Red. Even after I beat the game, it was fun to just uh, keep powering them up. Get my favorites up to a level 100. And also re- do the random soccer thingy. Okay. And the random soccer <laughs> the thingy. The random soccer thingy. I don't actually... It's like po- this Pokemon training thing where when you do... You have your Pokemon launch soccer balls. <laughs> what? <laughs> and um, if you win... At, 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 you launch soccer balls at balloons that look like Pokemon. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then if you win, you get prizes. Well, I guess, okay. <laughs> it kind of surprised me at first, but then again, I played, uh, I guess when I was playing Pokemon Black, they had the whole, what is it, dance on stage mini game? Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, what is your favorite starter Pokemon? Favorite starter, Scorbunny. Because Scorbunny. He, um, he's a soccer player. <laughs> he's a soccer player, that's Football. right. Football. Um, his, uh, Cinderace has a really overpowered, um, move. It has a, it only has 90, 95% accuracy, but that's fine because it deals, like, over 150 damage, I think. And it is five uses, so you, I can just use that over and over again. I always prefer the moves that have, that are a little bit weaker, but have 100% accuracy. I think I'd be comfortable with uh, 95% accuracy, though. That sounds fine. That's pretty That's pretty accurate. Some of the moves are, like, so incredibly stupidly powerful, but then they get, like, 70% accuracy. I can't do those. There is a, um, a move called Fisher, and it, it one-hit kills anything, but it only has a 30% accuracy. Do you have a uh, most memorable scene? Scene? Uh... Or event or quest? Um, soccer balls. <laughs> soccer balls. 